Want to go from zero to 100 super duper fast in Ghost Recon Breakpoint? Well, today I'm going to tell you guys the fastest way to level up in Ghost Recon. Big shout out to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video and also providing us with a copy of Ghost Recon for your guys' enjoyment. Asava, this is LazerBold and welcome to today's video guys. If you're like me, you're trying to level up as fast as you can because you want to get access to that raid. And in order for you to get access to the raid, you have to hit that high level. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is to know how to level up. But before we go full on in the video, I do want to remind you guys about our giveaway. We're giving away one free copy of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. All you have to do is comment down below and drop a like on this video and you will be automatically entered. The winner will be getting announced via Twitter but you also want to make sure you're on our discord channel because that is where we're gonna be sending you guys the code so make sure you guys are following on Twitter and are in our discord as well the links are down below in the description all right so how do you level up fast in Ghost Recon Breakpoint well let's start off with the first things now one thing I want to tell you guys is please make sure that you pay close attention to this because you're gonna to have to make sure that you're keeping an eye out when you're getting the stuff so you guys are gonna be working towards that XP game now one of the first things you're gonna be unlocking when you're playing the game of course is your skill tree now within your skill tree there is a passive ability that gives you experience upgrade now this is going to boost you up to 20 percent of xp gain so this is going to be point number one of leveling make sure that when you unlock your skill tree you get this you prioritize this skill because this is going to allow you to level up fast remember our biggest point here is to level up fast get the highest amount of gear we could possibly can so we could do high-end content and we could have a less difficulty killing the ads when we're doing so not only that but we're also going to be earning xp to better our weapons and better our gear so make sure you purchase this first all right so now that you already purchased that xp next thing you want to do is make sure that once you get access to the campsites you want to make sure you keep an eye when you get access to the campsites the campsites are going to be super important in boosting your xp and you're probably wondering why well within the campsite if you go to that area and you open up a camp there's going to be a tab that's called preparations now within this preparations tab if you go all the way to the right hand side there's going to be a resource called increase xp gain this is going to give you a boost of 10 percent for 60 seconds what you want to do is make sure you pick this up once you have access to the campsite so you could get that additional 10% for 60 seconds. Once those 60 seconds run out, you're then going to have to visit the campsite once again to repurchase this. Remember, it only lasts for 60 seconds. Now, towards later in the video, I'm going to give you areas where you're going to be able to farm. So whenever you pick this one up, so you could time this one and decide when you're going to want to use those 60 seconds. As long as you remember to go to the campsites every hour, you guys should be good to go. All right, so make sure you guys pay close attention to this one as well. You're going to want to make sure that as you're playing the game, you're checking your clothes. <laughs> you're probably wondering, why do I want to check my clothes? Like, what's the whole point? Well, guys, some clothes drop with the advantage of XP boost. Now, if you're able to get each item piece with that 5% boost on your clothes, you're going to be able to get a total of 25% increase just by your clothes alone. So make sure when you're opening up chests, when you're killing an enemy, or when you're finding clothes within the open area, that you pay close attention to those clothes if they give you that XP gain and don't dismantle or delete them or replace them. Remember, the gear score is not that important in the game as you're leveling up, so sometimes it's more prioritized to keep the clothes that have the XP gain than to get an item that has higher gear score. Next up, guys, it's time for you to pay attention to your weapons. Yes, you heard it correctly, guys. First, you got to pay attention to your clothes. Now you got to pay attention to your weapons because your weapons have a chance to drop with an XP gain as well. Now what I would prioritize here guys is make sure that every single weapon that you're using gets you that XP boost. Now the reason why this is important is because sometimes when you switch a weapon, you're not going to be getting that XP boost if you're switching weapons because it does not stack up. At least as what I've been testing, it doesn't stack up. So you want to make sure that when you're killing an enemy with a specific weapon, at least all those weapons will give you that XP boost so you guys are maximizing your XP. All right, so now that we got all the XP and ways to actually maximize that XP, 
where exactly are we going to be able to farm for this XP? Because sometimes, even though you want to play the storyline, you want to play the commissions, but there might be a point where you get to a section where like you're under leveled and you want to make sure you at least have enough power to take on that enemy, right? Because you do not want to be under leveled in some areas. Some areas could be a little bit difficult if you are under leveled. So what are the farming locations you're going to want to have access to? I'm going to give you two. Number one's going to be for like when you're starting the game and number two is going to be for when you're more advanced in the game and you want to boost up that XP. So for farming method number one, you're going to want to find an area of complex with a lot of enemies. Now there are a couple areas that have a ton of enemies. So you're just going to want to find the one that you feel more comfortable with that you're able to clear the complex as soon as you possibly can. Once you find that location, you're going to want to make sure you go to the encampment and pick up those 60 seconds that I told you guys. So you guys know you have an hour to farm this and you could do this every single hour. Now there are some complex that are smaller and there are some complexes that are a little bit bigger. Look for the complex that have the larger areas. These tend to have more enemies and technically the more enemies, the more XP you'll be getting from kills. There is a really good one called the Aurora Data Farm. That has a lot of enemies. It's a big base and uh, it's one of the ones I've been using to level up. So after you locate the complex, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you alert the enemies. You want to make sure these enemies are coming at you. That way you're able to clear them out faster as opposed to going stealthy because remember we have 60 seconds we want to make sure we're clearing these enemies as quickly as we can. If we alert them, they're going to be coming and rushing up to us. And we're going to want to make sure we kill them as quickly as we possibly can. Do not play the stealth. You want to make sure they get alerted. Once the enemies get alerted and you defeated everyone, all you have to do is quit out of the game and then log in back into your game. And the enemies will automatically be regenerated within that complex. And all you have to do is take them down once again and just rinse and repeat for those 60 seconds. Once those 60 seconds are over, what you want to do is go back to your camp, pick up another 60 seconds, and just keep doing this over and over until you get enough XP. All right, so the next farming method, which is going to be for more of an advanced one in the sense that you have to have a little bit more exploration within the game. Now, there are going to be a couple of tanks that are scattered around the map. Now, each tank varies. Each one gives you a certain amount of XP, but theoretically speaking, they're almost roughly the same amount of XP that they give you you're going to want to make sure you find one of these tanks that are opened up within the area now i'm assuming that as you guys are progressing throughout the game you're going to be opening up different areas and there's going to be a tank in a specific area so the way you want to approach this is as you're moving along the storyline and you find a tank you're going to want to farm this tank now what you're going to want to do is the following you're going to want to make sure you go and you kill the tank. Of course, you guys already know that. Once you kill the tank, there's going to be a couple of chests around the area. Do not open up the chest. If you open up the chest, this is going to bug it out and it's going to make the tank disappear and it's not going to respawn. What you want to do is kill the tank, get the XP that you got from the tank, and once you got the XP from the tank, you're going to want to kill yourself with either a grenade or a rocket launcher. That way, once you die, you spawn within the area. Now, I tried quitting out of the game instead of killing myself. The only problem with this one, it would put me very far away from the tank. And this would make it a lot harder to traverse and get back to the tank. Now, remember, when we're doing these two farming methods, we want to make sure we're picking up those 60 seconds. Because those 60 seconds of that nice little XP boost that we get when we pick it up from the encampment are going to help out exponentially. So make sure that whenever you decide to do this, you first visit the camp, pick up those 60 seconds to make sure you have that XP. The reason I'm repeating this over and over is because I know a lot of people are new to the game and I want to make sure that you guys are constantly aware that you have to pick up those 60 seconds. All right, so I have one more tip for you guys. Now, I haven't found an area where I'm able to do this very often, but I do want to recommend this if you guys are trying to figure out, you know, this whole XP thing. So what I've been testing as of right now, and maybe you guys could tell me if you guys find an area that's going to allow us to do this really quick. Once again, you want to pick up the 60 seconds. Once you do that, you want to go to an area where you could be stealthy and melee the enemies or kill them with your skill. This actually nets a lot of XP. You're able to get between 500 to 600 per kill. Now, the only problem with this is I haven't found the right area where I could kill multiple enemies really quick and then rinse and repeat. But if you guys happen to bump into an area where you're able to do this, where you're able to go stealthy and kill a lot of enemies with your stealth kill, then please let me know in the comment section down below. Because if we find the area, there's a really effective way to actually get a ton of XP. So just a quick recap, guys. If you guys are starting the game, go to the complexes, kill the enemies. If you guys are more advanced, kill the tanks. If you find an area where you could do a lot of melees, Make sure you guys do that. Now, remember, key point here, guys, don't forget to go to the encampment 
and pick up that XP boost every hour so you guys are not losing XP. And there you guys have it. That is the fastest way to level up in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. If for some reason I find a faster XP farm method, of course, I will have it here on the channel. We are also working on how to get money super duper fast as well. If you guys would like to see that video out by this weekend, let's hit that thumbs like. And as long as we get a lot of thumbs up, we're going to be able to put that video out for you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will catch you guys on the next video.